You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring scripture with Dr. T. Michael W. Halcom and Dr. Frederick J. Long. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text. I am Michael Halcom and I am here with another episode of Three Things. So this is, uh, well, these are three things that I'm thinking about. Um, the first one, actually, all, all three of these are people that uh, have somewhere along the way influenced me in my journey in one way or another. So the first one uh, that I want to mention is a pastor and author by the name of Max Lucado, or Max Lucado, however you say that. Uh, I started reading uh, Lucado's works when I first became a Christian. So way back in uh, 1998, 99, 2000, somewhere around there, uh, I started reading everything that he wrote. I remember reading books like Traveling Light uh, and uh, then later the angels were silent. And uh, yeah, there was one about a house. I remember the rooms of God's house. I can't remember uh, the title of that one, but um, I devoured uh, the Max Lucado works that I could get my hand on, hands on. And I wasn't just reading them, although I was doing that, but I was studying them for how he wrote. Like, how was he writing? Um, because I found it enjoyable and inspiring. And uh, I started crafting some of my sermons using some of the literary devices and techniques that I saw uh, Lucado using. So Lucado influenced, in, in to some degree and in some ways, uh, my own writing and even my own sermonizing, my own preaching. And so, yeah, really grateful for the ministry of Lucado, who's still pressing on, still publishing, still pastoring, still preaching, and even hear him on the radio every now and then. But uh, if you're not familiar with Lucado's works, check them out. I haven't for a while, but uh, perhaps I should uh, get back to some of his stuff. Another person that has influenced me along the way, and if you've been listening to the podcast for any time, uh, you already know this, but uh, uh, Henry Nouwen. Uh, some people say Henri, uh, however you want to say his name, but Henry Nouwen. And uh, man, when I read his book, The Only Necessary Thing, that was a game changer for me, complete game changer. Um Henry, or now and as I should call him perhaps, uh, was for me a catalyst into uh, contemplative Christianity and got me really thinking about things like prayer. And in fact, um, probably now was a big reason that I've been obsessed with the notion and concept, the act of prayer for the better part of two decades now. Um, and again, he's another author that once I picked up his stuff, I just, uh, devoured it and I'm still reading now. And, um, probably once every year or two, I go back and read his book, the wounded healer. Um, and that's something I would commend to anyone. Uh, but really his book, the only necessary thing, um, the return of the prodigal or the prodigal son. That's a good one. Um, He's got a book called Intimacy. That one's a little bit newer. But yeah, I would highly recommend uh, Henry Nouwen's stuff to anyone. And a little bit on a different wavelength here, the third person I want to mention, this could be scandalous to some people perhaps, but is the comedian Dave Chappelle. Um, Now, I'll explain a little bit of this, but uh, because Chappelle is actually... um, associated with Islam, as far as I know, and some of his stuff can be pretty vulgar. And I'm not necessarily uh, lauding or applauding any of that kind of stuff. Um, But what I've learned from Dave Chappelle has has affected me as a a preacher, really, and as a Christian. And that's just courage to speak my mind and courage to speak up, courage to speak truth. To courage and boldness. Um, there are a few people in the world uh, that have been able to command a stage and attention and just speak to the larger populace with the sort of courage and boldness and 
um, logic and reason that Chappelle has. And so uh, for that reason, yeah, he's influenced me. And so um, Max Lucado, Henry Nowen, and Dave Chappelle, there you go. Three people that have influenced me along the way. All right. Hope that helps. Interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start? Glossa House can help. From illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars, Glossa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glossahouse.com today. Glossa House, language resources for the global community.